what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Imagine this. You're driving along a stretch of the highway when suddenly you find yourself caught up in a road rage incident with a strange woman who is hurling racial insults at you. She's aggressive to the point that she taps your bumper and leaves paint from her car on your bumper. You call 911 for some assistance because that's what 911 is for. Somebody's attacking you. You're afraid. You need some assistance from the police. You call 911. You're explaining the situation to 911. Meanwhile, you're trying to just get to a safe place so you drive to a nearby gas station. Hopefully, you can find somebody who can help you get this strange woman off you. As you're sitting in your car, the crazy mad woman opens the door to your car and attacks you. You reach for a knife that you have in the car and you stab her ass. The fight escalates, moves outside of the car, the police shows up. They don't ask any questions. They go straight to you and arrest you and tend to the woman. No questions asked. Take you to jail, charge you with a felony assault. Meanwhile, the aggressor, the woman who started it all because you would not move over to allow her to pass. Nothing happens to her. She's never charged with anything. This is a clear case of the aggressor and the victim. Now, after all of this, you have to consider that you are also a sergeant in the United States Army. And it ain't like you had to tell them because you had your uniform on when they arrested you. I mean, just absolutely no respect for your service, no respect whatsoever. This is the case of 33-year-old Kai Waters. Kai has been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan, has served as a drill sergeant, and among her awards are seven Army Commendation Medals a whopping 12 Army Achievement Medals, and four Good Conduct Medals, each one presented after three years of unblemished service. But none of that mattered because a judge ordered her to be confined to Fort Knox, where she works, and required her to live in the barracks despite renting a private home off post, in addition to undergoing mental health evaluation. A grand jury reviewed the case on March 8th, and now Kai is just awaiting their decision to either send her to trial or drop the charges. I suspect that the charges will be dropped because, drum roll please, there's video. And the footage clearly shows that the crazy ass white woman was the aggressor. I'll make sure that I put a link in the description so you can see the video for yourself. Let me tell you that I had hell finding the video. It is buried under all of the news. This is a cold game. When they just show up and they don't ask any questions, they just arrest based on color. That's it. That's how they do, man. Man, man, man. It's time to get rid of a lot of these judges, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all act like, well, it ain't going to matter, you know, voting. Some of y'all don't vote until every four years. You got to start participating in your local elections. You got to start making sure that you got people in there that have some type of knowledge and understanding 
and relation a shift to your background. Because you put a bunch of people in there that think alike, man, you're going to have trouble if you find yourself out there. Even when you're right, they can figure out a way to make you wrong. That's a cold game, man. Imagine what would have happened to that woman's career, her reputation, her fate, had there not been video. This is a U.S. Army sergeant with an impeccable record, unblemished, multiple awards, given no consideration for her character at all. Y'all know this shit was about race. Ain't no two ways about it. This is what it was, man. Stop playing. Stop fronting. Stop being in denial. Stop lying to yourself. Because nobody else believes you. I know I don't. Whatever the woman's name was, I'm sure she was raised by some fine people. In any event, her mama should be embarrassed and her daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about?